With a revamped look and four new hosts, Adrian Arsenault, Andrew Chang, Ian Hannah Manzing, and Rosemary Barton, CBC's The National relaunches one week from tonight. One of the hosts joins us now from Toronto. Rosemary Barton is originally from the Prairies. She will be based in Ottawa for the show. Hi, Rosie. Hello. What's it been like getting ready for the big debut? Uh, I'm not sleeping a whole lot right now, which is probably not surprising. Um, it's been a lot of work, uh, not only for the four of us, who are the faces, obviously, of the show, but for all the people behind the show. Uh, there are uh, new sets in Ottawa, Vancouver, and a beautiful new one here in Toronto that I saw for the first time today. Uh, and there's all the, the technical crew and team behind it, the editorial team. Uh, there's lots of changes happening behind the scenes, as well as in front of the cameras that people will see in their homes. So it's 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 been intense and it's going to be a really intense week ramping up to Monday. You mentioned the sets. Is yeah. there anything else Canadians should expect to be different when they tune into the National a week from tonight? Well, I mean, there's four of us, uh, so that's there different. Is that. And it's yeah, and it's not a typical. Uh, that's not typical of most newscasts. You know, when they did research to kind of come up with what would be the new national, they, they, there was no other model like this for a primetime nightly newscast. So it, that's different. The fact that we are in different places uh, in this vast country is different, and I think a good thing it gives better representation for everybody out there. And it means that you know, people on the west coast of Canada don't feel like they've got some show that you know happened hours before in the eastern part of the country and the show will continue to change um, throughout the evening so I think those are all good, really good things I think Canadians though should prepare themselves it's not going to look the same we are different and we're going to treat the news a little bit differently too we're going to go deeper into a story and we're going to ask questions that maybe you are still asking yourself by the end of the day because we know people by the time they get to 9 10 11 o'clock at night they generally know what's happening in the world what they want to know is what's going to happen next and what else is there that I should be thinking about so that's what we're hoping to bring you are there stories that you've been working on already leading up to that first week rollout anything uh, breaking and new that we should expect well, there, are, there will be new and breaking stories that I'm not going to tell you here or of I'll course. get fired. <laughs> Which is not a good way to start the new no, show. No, we uh, want to play it safe. <laughs> but I, I, for instance, did a story uh, that I think will air the second week. It's a, it's a longer piece about uh, First Nations kids and access to education here in Northern Ontario. It's something that I know uh, there are struggles with in, from my home province in Manitoba and certainly in Saskatchewan too. When you have remote communities that can't give kids access to a full education and then they have to fly somewhere else to get it. So it's, it's a really big issue in Northern Ontario. So I'm going to bring that little piece down um, to show all of Canada in a couple of weeks. And that's sort of what I want to do is take these stories that I just hear about or read about in Ottawa and go put some faces behind them and get some voices that maybe you're not used to seeing, um, but you should see and hear from more often. Do you think your Prairie Roots have played a bit of a role in the success you found as a broadcast journalist? I think so. I mean, I think you are only a good journalist in this country if you've lived in different places. And that is certainly the case for all four of us. Uh, we've all grown up and, and lived in different places, or in the case of Adrian, traveled the world extensively. Uh, but the fact that I grew up in Winnipeg, I think, gives me a different sensibility. I don't automatically think about what Toronto wants to know about something. I've never lived in Toronto. Not that that's a bad thing, but I think it allows me to sort of think about the rest of the country. I spent a lot of time uh, in Quebec as well, so I have that part of me, and, and I have a lot of different interests. So I think the fact that we are not only based in different places, but also come from different places and have lived in different places, I think you're going to be able to feel that, um, and I hope I hope you are. If you're not, then that's I'm not doing my job right, but Saskatchewan should feel like it's getting its attention, Manitoba, and everybody else too. You are originally from Manitoba. I don't suppose yeah. you're secretly a Saskatchewan Rough Riders fan. I, uh, I know I am not. I am, I am a little bit of a Winnipeg Jets fan, just because I think that that's how I how I grew up uh, when when there was still the Jets, and now of course they've come back. But no, no, no football. But don't. But please forgive me. Absolutely. Congratulations on the new show, Thank Rosie. You. We're Thank all you. looking we'll forward watch. to it. Thank we you. will. Okay. Rosemary Barton will begin hosting the National with Ian Hannah Mansing, Adrian Arsenault, and Andrew Chang on November sixth. It airs at ten p.m. on CBC, as well as at nine and eleven on CBC News Network.